Guys, I've been working extremely hard on this the last 24 hours, and I'm very excited to say that a quant crawler app that's dedicated at quantcrawler.com is going to be coming out very soon. I'm assuming it's going to be within the next 48 hours. I have been absolutely grinding, rebuilding this and getting it better than ever. And I want to show you the improvements that I'm excited about with things that I would never be able to do on chat GPT. This is the part that excites me about everything that I'm building. So you're going to go to quantcrawler.com when it's live, and you're going to see this disclaimer, which is what you saw in chat GPT. When you use the GPT, it would make you say yes in all caps. Now all you have to do is simply click yes, I agree. Now, on the left-hand side over here, you can see that we have all of the trades that we've done. I was testing a couple. The ticker name wasn't populating in. We got that fixed. So here's the cool thing. You take your three screenshots and you paste them in here. Your 15, five, and one minute, whatever you're using. It could be four hours, one hour, 30 minute. Whatever charts you're using, you paste them in here. It's going to analyze it just like it always does. I'll show you. So we'll take a 15 minute. I have it on my other screen. I don't want to break away from this one because I want you guys to see it. So a 15, five, and one minute chart, we click analyze. Right here, this new analysis in the top left will update to the ticker, which is MES when it's done with its breakdown. So here you have trade setup, the contract ticker, all of this. It's telling you the play just like it did in the GPT, except it's in here. Now, right here, you're going to read through this whole thing, take your trade. When you grab three new charts, if you're trading multiple things, or even if you just want this updated, when you put three new charts in here and you click analyze, this moves over here and it kicks down so you have a new chat. So there's no scrolling to reference back something you looked at two hours ago. Every single time you upload new charts, it creates a new chat and it saves it over here that's date and time stamped. Very easy to see and read. Oh, I think I did that around 115. That's got to be this one right here. You click it, it references back exactly what that was at that time. So this is the part I'm most excited about though. We get all this there. It sounds good. You're like, hey, this trade works. I'm going to take it. I like it. You come down here. There's this green button that says took this trade or red says did not take. When you click this, it's going to have a pop up one time where you enter in your email address. It saves it. And then from there, you see trade logged email sent to your inbox. You're not going to see the email pop up because I've already done it because I've been testing it. So it now sent me an email. So let me show you what that looks like. You're going to get an email from Quant Crawler that says trade journal took MESZ. So the important part of this is you're gonna be able to see how profitable and how many positive trades did you have from Quant Crawler and how many were negative. So of course, trade taken, it's in green. This is the exact play that, this is the reference it gave you and you took the trade. If you update and adjust these, that's kind of on you, but this is what Quant Crawler gave you that made you take the trade. Same thing with, the red logged as did not take email sent. You get one that looks like this from quant crawler to you trade not taken. So if you want to reference back, like, hey, I, I don't know how I felt about the look of this. I think it's going to be wrong. I'm going to say I didn't take it, but I want to reference back in an hour and see what it looks like. You don't have to reference the chat. You don't have to dig for it. You don't have to find it. You can, but you're going to get an email as well. And then you can drag and drop these into folders. You can then take those folders into chat GPT or whatever AI you use export all of this data, give it to it, and then let it build you a tracker. And you're automating your journaling of what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, and making adjustments based on real data where you're tracking your plays in your system. You're actually building your own strategy by seeing, I use Quant Crawler 30 times in the month of November. I went 20 and 10, or I went 0 for 30. Quant Crawler sucks. You just need to figure out and journal so you know where you're missing the mark. And now you have the ability to do that. You could never do this on the chat GPT app.